Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to take this thrifted wooden home decor and make it into a more primitive style like this. Then we're going to take this also thrifted wooden stool and make it into this. And then we're going to take this really cute little shutter and make it into more crow decor like this. So let's get started. So this wooden shelf I got at the local thrift store and there was actually two of them and I picked them both up. It was only like a couple of dollars each and I really love these little uh, wooden shelf sitters or they can hang on the wall but I really like to do these up primitive and this one today is going to be a burgundy color. I really like the mustard color that's on it but it's very dirty and it looks like there's just one coat and there was a lot of uh, spots where it wasn't all the way uh, covered so I decided to just give it this nice burgundy color all around. Once this dries as you can see it gets a lot darker and I had gone ahead with some sandpaper and distressed the edges just a little bit and now I'm giving it a coat of my dark wax that I make up with a little bit of black paint in it just to give it a darker uh, more distressed look in certain spots and also to seal it up so then I'm just gonna I put it on with a brush and then wipe it back gently and I leave some down in the cracks around the edges of the bottom I have some pit berries, just some little sprigs left over from a uh, vine of them that I have and I've taken some of them off and I'm going to take this little piece of wired, uh, I guess that was from a garland too, I usually keep that because they're wired and they're easy to work with and I'm just going to wrap my little sprigs around it to make a small half a garland to go inside of my wooden decor. It makes it easy when it's wired so I can just wrap it right around and it's nice and stiff and then I'm just going to set that in there like so and just kind of spread out the the pitberry vines in all the directions and just kind of make them look like they were supposed to be there. I have this big rusty star that I want to put a little nail in and put that onto the back. So I'm going to take a little nail and do that. And then I took a piece of my uh, homespun material. This is burgundy checked. And then just tie it on there and kind of cover up that nail. And here is the finished product. this live laugh love candle it's a nice tall timer candle actually from Rite Aid several years ago I'll see if I can find a link to it and put it down in the description I got this cute little harvest stool at a thrift store recently and I thought I would do the top of it over and leave the bottom the burgundy color because it still is very nice so I'm just gonna paint the top with Waverly plaster paint. That's going to take two coats and I'm going to put that all over the top. Once that's dry I'm taking my wax, water, and black paint mixture and I'm just wiping that over the top of the plaster paint. I'm going to give this a kind of a a padded effect with a piece of uh, rag or paper towel and see what kind of effect that I can get with that and see if it will work with what I'm trying to do. So I go all the way up around the top and then I take my paper towel and just pat it and give it kind of a uh, distressed 
effect and leaving some of that wax and paint and water behind and just giving it a different look for the background of what I'm going to do here. So I still have a bunch of these uh, add de decoupage papers that I got from Zazzle so I wanted to use one of those on the top of my little stool. So I found one that I liked, I cut it out and I'm putting a coat of Mod Podge over the top of my stool and where I painted. Then I'm putting that paper over the top, smoothing it out, and then I'm going to do another layer over the top of the paper and the top of the stool to seal it in. Once that's all dry, I check it out and I think it looks awesome. It looks so cute and I love the background to it. So I started looking at the legs and decided that I wanted to sand it a little bit. It's kind of rough around the edges. So I'm sanding that back and then I decided to also sand the legs and give them a distressed look as well. Now to go along with the dark on the top, I decided to take some uh, folk art black paint and just kind of do a light brush of black paint around the edges and just make it all match together. I really like how this came out. It's a simple little stool, but I think it has a nice new life. This project is from Goodwill. It was a shutter, small shutter for two dollars. I actually got a couple of them and they still have some of the hardware hooked on so I will have to remove those but it's fairly simple with a little screwdriver. I have several of these uh, different sized shutters and I never know exactly what I want to do with it. I just know that I want it and that I will probably come up with something especially for two dollars. So I'm taking my wax my antique wax watered down with a little bit of black paint in it and I'm going to give this a little bit of a darker stained look so this will go with what I want to put on here. I was going to paint it but I decided that I just wanted it dark stained and then if somebody wanted to take it apart they probably still could and have that dark stained shutter for something else if they wanted to. But I really think this came out cute. You can see the difference of the stain and where I didn't stain. So now that it's all dry, I'm going to take a brush of a little bit of black paint and brush that on the edges and just make it blend in with what I want to do with it next and gives it a little more aged, distressed look as well. Now I got this trash can liner at the thrift store for 3 or $4, but I liked the pattern on it and I can use it several times with what I want to do. So I decided to cut out a piece and make a pocket on the front of my shutter. I'm going to leave the stars on there as well. I think that adds a nice touch. And I'm just going to glue the edges to make the pocket onto the shutter. As I'm gluing this on, I'm careful not to pull too tight because I don't want to misshape in the front of the lines and make them go all different ways. If you pull it too much, the lines get distorted. And I also don't want to pull it too much because I want the pocket to be able to accept uh, some flowers or pit berries that I'm going to put down inside. And if you put make it too tight, they won't fit down in there very well. But you also don't want it too loose because then they will fall out easy. So uh, this is the bottom of the shutter and I'm just making a nice neat fold, uh, folding the top down and then I fold the edge in and then the very bottom goes up over, uh, just kind of like uh, wrapping a package or a present. That's how I did that and I just made sure I glued all the edges. I 
I really love the pit berries that I have for this. Of course, anything would work in there. You could even put greenery. That would work as well, too. But I wanted to make this more primitive, so I have these textured uh, garland balls and with the burgundy and mustard color with a mustard star attached to just about every sprig that there is on there. So it is going to be full of the, the little colored balls and the stars, which I think goes along well with the patterned cloth that I have on there too. So it's basically, basically just putting them in the pocket and then spreading them out and making them look nice and full in the way that I want it. The crow that is there is a crow that I cut out years ago. I made some tea light candle holders with them and I have a bunch of them cut out. And of course I can make more with the pattern. And I'm just going to fill up that hole where the tea lights are supposed to be with some Spanish moss. I'm just gonna glue it in nice and tight just to fill that hole in. And I also went around and distressed it a little bit with a piece of sandpaper before I did any of this. So now I'm going to take my crow and I'm going to put it in the top behind the pit berries. I'm going to glue that in and hopefully that will hold it and make it stay uh, onto the shutter. Give it a good amount of glue. It's also going to be tied on with some homespun material, so I don't think it's going to go anywhere. I took some of the leftover material from that square that I had cut out to put onto the shutter, and I glued it together to make it look kind of like it was supposed to be together. Uh, and I'm going to wrap it around the back of the shutter to the front and I'm going to do a little tie over the top of that crow to help hold it on there and to also give it a little something special. Just going to tie a couple knots in that nice and tight and then as you can see there is a little rusty star down on the side that I got at the local flea market. Got a little bag of them for a $1.50 and I'm going to use one of those to put in the middle of my material and the crow. So now I'm going to add a little bit of Spanish moss in the pocket in front of my pit berries to help make that pocket a little tighter and to hold in those pit berries. And I like the look of it coming out of the pocket. I think it looks really nice. It just adds an extra little filler to it. So I'm just going to tuck that in there. And I have this piece of rusty spring that broke off from some springs I found on our property. And I'm going to take that and tuck that down in the pocket too to just add a little special touch. So I'm going to take some of this folk art honeycomb paint. This is a lot like a dark mustard color and I'm going to paint this little wooden tag uh, and make a tag for my shutter. So I'm giving it one coat on both sides and once it dries I'm going to take a little bit of black paint and distress it around the edges and over the top uh, to make it look more distressed. There we go. And then I have some rub-on letters that I've been using and I'm getting down to only certain letters. So I decided to do crow and then uh, once I did that I realized that I kind of did it upside down or instead of going from top to bottom I went from bottom to top but it's okay. I think it looks alright. So anyway you just put this on. I just rubbed it with my finger and the letter comes off and then you just rub rub over the top to make sure it's stuck down nicely. I added a string and attached it to my shutter.
I hope you guys like my projects today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Thank you.